Hi, I'm Susie Sa, and here's your CBS On The Go update. We begin with your CBS2 travel forecast. Here's meteorologist Evelyn Taft. Evelyn. Susie, we are getting a look at travel across the country right now, and you're going to see a lot of green, so things are looking good. But we do have some delays at LaGuardia and in Newark right now as well, and Phoenix also looking at a few delays. Otherwise, everybody lighting up green. And locally in Southern California, if you're staying in town, for the beaches, basin, and the valleys over the next seven days, temperature is getting cooler and then warming up by the time we hit the weekend, 70s and 80s, possibly even and some 90s expected. Mm. Susie. Evelyn, thank you. The Philadelphia Eagles were supposed to celebrate their Super Bowl victory today at the White House. Well, that didn't happen. Angelica Alvarez has more on the party that went on without them. The White House threw a party Tuesday, calling it a celebration of America. It is my great pleasure to welcome everyone to the White House for this patriotic celebration. President Trump repeated his call for all Americans to stand for the national anthem. We respect our flag and we always proudly stand for the national anthem. The event was originally scheduled to honor the Super Bowl champion Philadelphia Eagles, but the president rescinded the invitation late Monday when he learned fewer than 10 players planned to attend. He initially said he was scrapping the event because Eagles players disagreed about standing for the anthem although none had taken a knee during the anthem last season. I wasn't shocked that he did that, but I was also kind of happy he did it because I didn't want this team to be disunited over this issue. Later, the White House accused the team of abandoning its fans. If this wasn't a political stunt by the Eagles franchise, then they wouldn't have planned to attend the event and then backed out at the last minute. President Trump never mentioned the Eagles during the event here at the White House. Philadelphia supporters seem to be taking the controversy in stride. I think that people are fired up that this team is being disrespected in a national sense in this type of way, but overall they're proud of what they've seen so far. Instead of traveling to Washington, Eagles players reported to their practice center. Angelica Alvarez, CBS News, the White House. And now here's your CBS on the go sports, the first legal sports bet since a landmark court decision was placed today in Delaware. Delaware Governor John Carney bet $10 on the Philadelphia Phillies, who are underdogs tonight against the Chicago Cubs. Delaware is the first state to legalize gambling after the Supreme Court ruled a month ago to allow states to decide if sports gambling is legal. The plaintiff in the case, the state of New Jersey, plans to start allowing bets on Friday. And immediately following CBS 2 News at 11 tonight, watch The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Guests include former President Bill Clinton and author James Patterson and comedian Tig Notaro. Right after Colbert, don't forget to watch The Late Late Show with James Corden. His guests are actors Lucy Liu and Mandy Patinkin. And musical guest Shawn Mendes, who's hanging out with James all week. Watch Corden and Colbert right after CBS 2 News at 11. And that is your CBS On The Go update. Remember, we're always on at CBSLA.com. And be sure to join us every night for CBS 2 News at 5, 6, and 11.